Oh, hey, mate. It's, yeah, it's nearly finished. I'm just going to drop the uh, electronics in it. Uh, the motor's fit and everything. I only need a bit of hammer work and uh, this, that and the other. But yeah, it's on its way. Uh, got a bit of epoxy glue in to do on the bottom. Uh, not much. Just around the beads there. Plug these holes up a little bit down here. Uh, but yeah, the insides, I'm just going to put the electrics in, which is all there. Uh, so I'll show you where they go and how I have them, or will be having them hopefully. Uh, the motors, uh, Hobby Rocket, and then I've taken the sleeve off this one. Six one one two. Okay, uh, and then got the flyer ESCs. Two of these. Three to sixteen cell, two hundred and forty amp optical sensor. Uh, and these are connected to a Y harness, which is connected to a little receiver. Uh, normally you cut one of the red wires, which is a power wire, on one of the harnesses. But with, with the flyers, you need both the wires. So I've actually had to solder them up again. Uh, so leave the wire harness as it is when you buy it and don't chop the wires if you're using flyers and it just came to me that okay uh, so that's easy enough uh, and then there is just the power leads which go off to the batteries yeah AG 4 AWG just uh, battery leads, if you can get the uh, thin, the very thin uh, fibres or wires, strands to make it more flexible. Uh, now here's a bit of trickology which I pretty much think you have to do, is a capacity bank which reduces the ripples if, you've, if your batteries can't deliver a, a super constant uh, flow. Uh, they will look after the ripple effect of that and discharge immediately. Uh, and they have to be, if you're getting some, the ones which are inside the flyer, which are Rubicon 80 volts. Now I'm only actually using 56 volts and these leads were actually made for 56 volts so I have actually got 63 volts. Sorry. But because I don't actually go over that, the important thing is that ZLH and make sure that that's matched. Yeah, the other thing, the uh, you, I can't even see this. Yeah, it's been that long. What do they call the US? Yeah, the US. That's just the capacity. But as I say, well, I didn't say, but there's a crap load of capacitors on that, and I don't really know what that's doing. But uh, touch the wood, touch the wood. Uh, we've had no fry ups in a long time so yeah a bit long winded but that's one thing to uh, consider even though they have got a load of capacitors putting a few extras on the end of your power lead uh, reduces the ripple before it even gets to here and uh, as I say they have done very well so that's the electronics so I'm going to show you how they're fitted uh, as I fit them uh, okie dokie 
Yeah, I've got the nozzles. Uh, I've got to just uh, exchange the, the end pieces. But I might do some directionals on this. Easy enough, isn't it? Uh, but I'll show you how everything's fitted in the board electronically on the doodah side. All right, mates, let's get on. OK, I've riveted the motor mounts in. I haven't glued this in yet, uh, but I had to drill an hole to take the power leads and just a couple of very delicate taps was enough just to fit the motors in. I'll make the boxes a bit bigger, uh, but the wires, it was the wires at the back. The motors fitted, but the wires didn't. So anyway, this is how they look when they're fitted. Boom! That was quick, wasn't it, eh? Lovely stuff. All right, I've got a piece of plastic uh, from uh, earlier surfboards, which looks like we had a bit of a burnout at some point. But that is just going across here. They used to. There you go. And the ESCs are going to go on top of car. Okay. And then I'm going to get the power leads. These are connected to here. Uh, let me get the power leads in and connect them up, which I'm going to string through with that all there. Kabongo! <laughs> yeah, first time I've seen it set up like that. Uh, pull the power leads through that hole. I'm going to put some uh, expanding foam in there, some Gorilla Glue, and all between them. Uh, yeah. That all fits in. I've got the I don't know signal leads off the ESC, which go to the Y harness. They're going to be put in a small box here. I just placed in the back, just about there. Oh, there's a bit of space underneath that shelf. Yeah, but there it is. Picking out the other side. Attach. From batteries. Kabonga! Hey, eh? I've got to do a bit more chiselling out just to get the other thing in. Uh, but yes, there you go. Some nice batteries. Some solid. It's looking uh, tackle in there. Uh, give us a few days, and I should have it uh, revving up. Uh, but I've just got to probably balance the uh, couplers. But yeah, lovely stuff. From over there. <laughs> Okie doke, mates. So he's then all the best mates. Toodaloo, toodaloo.